welcome to the Cultivating Cushing channel. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to our page below. We turned this bed of a Jeep truck into an egg mobile where we sell our farm fresh eggs and other cool items. This bed of a Jeep truck is actually my husband's grandfather's that we pulled out of the weeds. Uh, he probably used it to pull parts from. My husband and his grandfather have so much in common. They love to turn things that we would probably consider junk into something magical. So this is something that we can share to the public and we turn this into a family fun project. Well, we went to Tractor Supply and we obtained barn red paint. I got my Cricut machine out. I called my brother and sister-in-law over to paint some cool chickens on the side of it. Uh, so it was just, it was very fun. So in New York, we have so many regulations and it can be quite challenging when you're selling farm fresh eggs. Not everyone here can have backyard chickens. If you are looking into um, obtaining backyard chickens, make sure that you check your town website because there is zoning restrictions. And also when you sell farm fresh eggs, you want to make sure that your eggs are fresh. So one method to test if your eggs are fresh is by putting it in a glass of water. If your egg floats, that means it's bad. If it sinks to the very bottom, then you're good to go. It's very fresh. Now, eggs can also obtain blood spots. Pretty rare. You just don't see it in farm fresh eggs. You can also see it in store bought eggs as well. Uh, the blood spots can be tested by just a simple flashlight roll. You just put your egg on top of the flashlight and just take a look for blood spots again not common however it could happen so when you are selling to the public make sure that you are checking your eggs also in new york state you have to have the proper labeling so you have to talk about refrigeration how many eggs you have in your carton you also want to make sure that you have storing instructions as well you have to make sure your refrigeration is at 40 degrees fahrenheit and make sure you have a clean refrigerator to put them in as we know covid 19 pandemic uh, kind of affected our, our food supply. So in grocery stores, there was a food shortage. Uh, there was price changes. So like bacon is like $8 a pound. So this kind of gravitated us to be more self-sustainable. So we obtained chickens, we obtained pigs, pigs and we obtained rabbits. Uh, we're doing everything we can to be more self-sustainable. We obtained two greenhouses. So our little small farm is expanding. And, and it's a great way to to spend time with family and to really grow grow food. If you are unable to obtain backyard chickens, and, and let's say you you don't want to go down to the self sustainable route, um, shop local. Uh, it's very important to to support these farmers that are doing putting in their hard work and and really giving animals the best quality of life. Show them some business. Uh, we rely so much on the grocery store in these large corporations. I won't go into detail, but our animals are hormone free. They they get proper feed, they, they see land, they're out on pasture, and, and we are really producing great quality stuff. So it is, it is very fun. If you are in the area and you are looking for farm fresh eggs, stop on by. We have some really cool stuff that we're also selling. And let's go check out this Jeep truck.